The Pinwheel Quilt Block is an old favorite. It's popular because it's easy to do and versatile to use. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a 12 inch pinwheel quilt block and giving you ideas for using it in a quilt. Welcome to Ewanda Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a 12 inch pinwheel quilt block. This block can be done with any two fabrics and once you know the math for half square triangles it can be made in any size that you want. To make the pinwheel quilt block all you need is four half square triangle pieces. The size of these pieces will be based on the size of the finished quilt block that you need. I'm going to be making a 12 inch block so these pieces are six and a half inches square. To calculate your own size, you'll take the size of the finished block you want without seam allowances, divide that in half, and then add half an inch for seam allowance. You can click the link for the tutorial that will give you some common sizes. Once you have the half square triangles, you're just gonna lay them out with all the diagonal lines meeting in the center. And just be careful with the orientation. You want to make sure that the dark and light fabrics are alternating around the block. And once you do that, we will join them to join these two together into a pair and these two together into a pair using a quarter inch seam allowance. Once the seams have been stitched, take it to the ironing board and press it so that the seam allowance goes under the dark fabric. Now we're just going to join these two pieces with another quarter inch seam. Now the seam is done and the block is finished, it just needs a final press. But because of all the seams that line up in the center of this block, sometimes the pressing is difficult because of all the layers. So, so a little trick that will help this is just before you press, take a seam ripper and just undo the last two or three stitches that are in that seam allowance. Then when you're going to press, you can press this side to the dark side and undo those stitches and press that to the dark side. And that will leave a little mini pinwheel right in the seam allowance. Now we have a finished 12 and a half inch block which lays nice and flat even with all the seams in the middle of it. If you like the pinwheel quilt block, you'll want to check out my pinwheel inspiration workbook. This is a workbook that includes a tutorial for the block with multiple different sizes. It includes inspiration for ways to use the pinwheel block in different quilt layouts. And it includes coloring pages so that you can design your own pinwheel quilts. This will be a great resource for any quilter. For information about this and other quilting tips and tutorials, be sure to check out my website, ebitastudio.com. Mm -hmm.